What's up everyone? Today I want to show you this cool website I found which is called codingfont.com and the premise here is that we have a bunch of fonts lined up next to each other. You can see right now we have PT Mono on the left and we have Cuisine on the right and we are going to do a head-to-head -head battle to find the best font and there is going to be one victorious Perfect. font at the end. So right here, when I just mashed my keyboard, we ended up in Noto Sans, which I actually do think is a pretty nice font. But we are going to do this one by one, blind, without knowing the name of the font. And yeah, I think this is going to be fun. And let's see which font comes out victorious as the best programming font. Cool? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So. Uh, we have a couple of settings on this website. First of all, the theme. And I think we should try to find a dark theme. This is going to work. So the font size, I think actually I should be zooming out here a bit. So the editors are bigger and we can increase the font size. Okay, let the battle begin. So. I will restart the game a couple of times so it's completely random and right off the bat I think we have a pretty tough comparison here but I think the one on the left looks a bit better but this is really the giveaway for for me. Uh, here we have an O, a big O and a zero and I really prefer the dash in the zero so even though these are quite familiar and also what the fuck is this one number okay the right one is uh, victorious here and how do i do that right okay so the right font one then we have a next one this one is <laughs> okay i i'm not gonna be too harsh i think i mean this is very subjective but i'm not really a fan of the uh it sort of seems italic on the l here and I, I prefer the more like mono, or I guess it that's not mono, but like computer L. So let's say that the left wins this round. Next up, we have two bad contestants, one with the one with a zero or like dot in the middle of the zero, and this sort of looks like the Ubuntu font, I think. And I think the one on the right looks a bit better. Let's put it to the right. Then this head to head, I think I will have to go with the one on the left. Even though we have the annoying L's, which I don't really like. The lower case L, but both of these have those. But I really just, just prefer the dashed zero. And then, okay, <laughs> this one two trash fonts i mean if you're coding like this you're doing something wrong but i guess the one on the left is a bit less terrible to look at okay these ones also kind of shit <laughs> but i guess i like the one on the the right a bit more okay now i think i will have to go with the one on the left and here the one on the right immediately seems a lot better or does it you know what let's not overthink it let's do gut instinct okay so that's right this one whoa the one on the left is kind of crazy but it's obviously the right one and here okay again what is going on on the left this is not not a serious font <laughs> To the left, oh my days. What is this, what is this? I guess the one on the left is a bit better. Then, okay, here we have two better fonts immediately. And you see here, programming with the O's and zeros, this is just going to get confusing. So the one on the right is going to win this one. And same here, let's see, two sort of similar fonts. But I do prefer the one on the right here. Okay, the one on the left immediately seems better. Okay, and what is going on with this one? 
on the left. Console.log. I can't even see what what this what it says here. The one on the right wins. Boom. Okay. And now we are going to choose the one on the left, I think. No, right. No, left. Left, definitely. Okay, back on round two. The first bracket is done. Now there's round two out of a million. Okay, let's try to do this a bit quicker. <laughs> but anyways, we have uh, two better fonts, I guess, but the one on the right definitely feels better. Let's go for that. Okay, this one, right. This one, very similar, but the left one looks better. I really just prefer the else here over the else here. Left, this one, right is better. Or the spacing on the left just seems a bit weird. It's no, but I, I think I actually like the... Okay, you know what? Right. Good instinct. Okay, this one right. This one left. This one. Okay, two various f familiar or similar fonts. And you know what? I think now that we are on bracket three, this font is going to be my favorite. I'm not sure which font it is, but it looks really good. And compared to this one, which also looked really good. I'm going to have to go with the left one. Oh, okay. This one is going to be the right one. This one left. This one. Oh, you know what? This is not going to work. Oh, oh, oh. It seems too, too similar. It's going to be left. Okay. Now we're in the quarterfinals. Okay, let's try to see which one of these are better. I said I like the one on the left more. But does it hold up? Yeah, it does. There's something off here, right? <laughs> or you know what? These are both really nice fonts. But I'm going to go with the one on the left, I think. Yeah, let's do it. The one on the left, these two... The one on the right, and this is purely based off, oh no, okay, you know what, the one on the right is sort of cursed because it has the annoying else that I don't like, but the zeros with the dot inside, that's a no-go for me. Yeah. And final, this is easy final, one on the right is nice, or is it? Yeah, but uh, it has broken else. The one on the left, it looks cracked and it looks goated. Let's go. One on the left one wins. Boom! Roboto Mono is the best font. <laughs> and what is this? A to tournament trophy. Okay, so Roboto Mono, I guess that's a Google font, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, and how... I was actually using a, a bunch of Roboto back in the day when I was creating uh, websites, just like everybody else. So I guess uh, it it holds up. It holds up with the mono version. And if we take a look at my terminal, I am using. I am currently using the. I can zoom in a bit. The SF Mono font with just a nerd patch and also. I've disabled the ligaturization. I guess it's this one I'm using. SF Mono uh, with a nerd patch. And that, that basically means that there's a bunch of extra symbols and stuff included. Yeah, it's this one. SF Mono nerd ligaturized. So this is the uh, Mac OS SF Mono font. And if you look at this, holy shit. This is a cracked font. Okay, anyways, sort of random video for today. And uh, yeah, Lucas Software use uh, Roboto too. I know, it's a great font. Or are you talking about the Mac font? Okay, anyways, hopefully you, you enjoyed this. And now let's go on to the next segment of the stream, which is my new ghosty setup. <laughs> <laughs>